Okay, so good afternoon. Um, I'm hoping there will be more people joining us as we go along. This is Natalia um, speaking here from Euro Essentials, who is the sole distributor of oxygen skincare um, in the um, uh, province of Ontario. So what I'm going to do today is to just introduce some of the more popular options from oxygen skincare. Um, this is, of course, oxygen biologicals. Um, our that actually hails out of here. Um, it's made locally to us, which is um, right here in the GTA area in Ontario, Canada. And of course, we will be talking about some of the things that you can use out of the oxygen skincare in order to support some of your more popular um, treatment options these days. Um, I did do a selection of products simply because of the fact that it is a very, very large <laughs> line of products. And I wanted to utilize our time here to the best uh, that we can. Of course, a couple of housekeeping rules before we move on. So I'll be reminding that as maybe people will also join us um, a little bit later. But I do actually uh, tend to keep everybody on mute. If you do need to place any questions for me, um, please do so in the little chat bubble and we will be able to answer them as we go along. So yes, today's subject is Oxygen Biological Skincare line in support to, like I said, some of your more popular treatments that you may be offering in your salons and spas today. And a little bit about the oxygen biologicals difference. So this is a good place to actually start in a review of the product since it is really the world's leader when it comes to developing um, oxygen based skincare. Um, they have been around for a very long period of time. And um, as you know, they actually now utilize a technology that is pretty much present only in their product. Nobody else at this point has it, which is using non chemically the derived oxygen. Uh, long time ago, the only sources of oxygen skincare would be to get them from places like hydrogen peroxide, for example. But today we are able to get them uh, specifically from a very, very complex process of stabilizing, pressurizing, and deionizing water, isolating the uh, the molecule of, of oxygen or the element of oxygen, and of course, um, making it stable within a product. So I will um, introduce that in a little bit more detail in the next slide. But before we do that, I just want to talk about, well, why even go through the trouble of making skincare that is based on oxygen? This is a good question, and I think a lot of clients out there will be asking that. Um, you know, I breathe in oxygen, so obviously I know oxygen is basis of life. I cannot survive without it, but why is it so detrimental to skincare? So we're going to, of course, talk about it from a perspective of skin and why is it so important for it. But this is a good kind of indication of what's to come because everything is based on this principle. Oxygen is a life-giving molecule. Many, many of the metabolic processes within a human body, including the skin, um, do not really cannot be performed if you do not have that one major metabolite, which is the oxygen molecule. So oxygen, of course, breathes life into the skin. We know that it is crucial in production of protein, in production of different type of mo uh, molecules that also exist in our skin, our DNA production and repair in transfer of liposomes, ceramides, and sphingolipids into cell structures. So very, very important. Um, it is something that, I, again, we cannot function without. And, um, you know, if it wasn't for oxygen, we would probably age a lot faster than we do at a regular rate. So as we get older, however, we do have to also remember that the amount of oxygen that's being carried around and absorbed via the skin and lungs really does drop. So if you ever compare yourself and sort of your ability to be mobile, to perform your daily task to somebody who is a little bit um, older, you can see the differences, right? So obviously, as you get older, the capacity to absorb oxygen either via your lungs or via via your skin, which is also a huge absorbent of oxygen. And um, definitely it's, it's one of its main function of the skin is actually absorbing and transferring oxygen. You will notice that, that definitely that metabolism in the body slows down because the ability to absorb uh, oxygen is also lowered. 
So obviously this leads to our changes um, in aging. So skin cells begin to die faster because they cannot in, you know, decrease the amount of free radicals that, that affect them, the uh, toxins that also cause oxidation and additional breakdown of proteins such as collagen and elastin. This is all due to lack of supply of oxygen, poor oxygenation within tissues, and of course the, um, the kind of everyday exposure to pollutants and free radicals that are in nature. But however, you know, when we're thinking about free radical production, especially so things that are more um, rapidly um, sort of responsible for oxidation in human body, we know that it's not just what the is from the environment, but of course, some of the internal factors within human body, like digestion or other forms of enzymatic processes can generate free radicals. Stress is one of them as well. And of course, that can speed up the aging process. So why not have the advantage of bringing a little bit of, of the, you know, extra oxygenation through our skin? and kind of fighting the, um, the effects of free radicals and, and damage um, and oxidation from that standpoint. So that is pretty much the principle behind the skincare. Oxygenation will also give you a naturally boosting effect of skin brightening, skin rejuvenation, and of course a skin that looks younger and performs a little bit better and also can utilize the ingredients that you bring into it with a little bit more power, a little bit more essence. So, of course, when it comes to the, the role of oxygen in slowing the, ox the aging process, well, we did kind of touch base on some of those um, processes that cause the degradation, that cause the oxid ox ox oxidation in the human body and the human tissue. So the idea here is, of course, that when you take these processes and you add that element of oxygen, all of a sudden you take this, this basic process of oxidation, so breakdown of protein structure at a cellular level, um, all of a sudden now you actually turn it into an oxygenation process. So as I promised before, I'm going to give you one more idea as to why oxygen skincare is so effective and why is it so sought after. When it comes to oxygen biologicals, they do have also a secondary process which they build into the products, which makes the products that much more effective. You can imagine that when you go ahead and you formulate with something as volatile as, as oxygen, it is um, a, a bit of a, an issue for a, a chemical um, or cosmetic chemist. It is very difficult to, to sort of stabilize oxygen in the first place. And then also to have a situation where this oxygen can be delivered on kind of timely manner is also extremely, extremely difficult. But however, oxygen biologicals had figured out this process, they're able to actually give you skincare that not only replenishes the oxygen upon application of the product, but also has up to three hours of post-application delivery of oxygen in a very kind of timely manner. So every 40 minutes or so in those intervals, you get that 10 minute burst of extra oxygenation within your uh, skin structures. So this is very unique to the skincare line here. It is really not something that has um, been, you know, seen or offered by other skincare lines. So very, very unique, uh, unique product that you have at front of you. So obviously, how did they achieve it? How were they able to bring you this, this very volatile, very essence of, of oxygen skincare here um, and being able to actually put it into a complex that is stable and that is nourishing to your skin and it really acts as that, you know, anti radical component? Where they did that by not only, like I said, very, very involved sort of process of deionizing water, of pressurizing that water, and then adding it into stabilizing cocktail of ingredients such as soil acetin, this unpronounceable magnesium chloride that prolong the effects of oxygen and stabilize it for longer to give it more potency and more efficacy within skincare. So that is pretty much basis of every single product that you will see in the oxygen biological line. But in addition to this, the company also reinforces the formulas with probably two of the most popular type of ingredients, which is, of course, the peptide um, technology. We are aware the peptides are kind of the newest, the best in skincare today. The ones that are very, very best, um, according to the company, 
is that peptides that can be L-structured, so the specific type of molecules that can be then identified by your body as bioavailable or bioactive and used up by the body as either cellular messengers or as carriers of another ingredients. So this is how peptides are used here. They are unique in a way that there are very, very small, minute, tiny molecules that can, um, or structures, compounds, that can penetrate the skin very, very easily and they can attract other ingredients and kind of use, you know, the ingredients can use the peptides as a vehiculation technology. So that is something that you can be rest assured that this company does at its best. They, they really do look at the ingredients of the best performance and the best highest quality. Of course, <laughs> Excuse me. Of course, also the formulas are always reinforced with other forms of ingredients, and we'll meet some of those ingredients as we review our line here. Of course, the, the main kind of performance within specific formulas, but also rest assured that every single product brings additional whopping amount of antioxidants and vitamins to also further, you know, uh, kind of advance and um, help some of the natural processes within the skin, such as metabolic exchange and and of course, production of new proteins. So very, very important to kind of know a little bit about the technology before we slide into the review of the product so that you know exactly what you have at your hands at the very least. So like I said, I'm not going to be reviewing every single product today. However, I kind of chose a selection of our more popular products today. I, I kind of monitor very closely um, as to what sells out there and what our consumers want. And I find that these products I selected today are probably among the ones that everybody will pretty much repurchase on regular basis and use it in, in a setting of variety of different type of treatments. And my goal today is to really introduce them to you in that type of idea. So it is from a more of a professional perspective, of course, rather than retail, there is a huge retail component. A lot of the products that you meet today will kind of transfer into retail as well. Um, but a lot of them will also be pro products only. And when I get to those products that are professional use only, I will make sure to, to outline it and to let you know. But we're going to start with the cleansing line. Most of these cleansers over here, um, actually all of them that I have on the screen now, are going to be available in retail for you. But in a professional application, they are actually available in a large quantity. And this is what also gives the oxygen biological really unique standpoint within its sales is that they do package things in almost double the quantity that, that any other um, skincare lines that are, you know, <laughs> pretty much going head in head um, in terms of competition. So every single one of these is available either in 150 ml packaging for retail, but also in a one liter container for your professional use. So you really are getting double the product for a really a, a considerably low pricing. So what are these cleansers? Some of them are quite unique. Of course, we do have two cleansers that are very specific to skin conditions. Those I didn't include today because they're quite simple and um, they're better actually as a, a product to support a retail situation. But in a tra treatment room, you might want to, you know, look at something with a little bit more of a unique um unique effect or unique benefits. So the first one that we're going to sort of take a look here is an eye and face cleanser. A couple of things to say about the overall formula of the cleansers. All of them are pH balanced to your skin. All of them are also uniquely scented. The company does not use a lot of fragrancing in their products. Actually, they don't use any synthetic fragrance. But in some situations, they do add things like grapefruit or orange absolutes. And this is really what gives it that kind of uh, nice citrusy smell. A lot of clients actually really do enjoy the scent of the product. Some products are completely unscented. And they really do smell what a lot of our consumers here will will classify as clinical smell. So very clean, but you can definitely distinctly tell that there is no added fragrance into the products here. Why is the choice of that? Um, simply because of the fact that a lot of consumers out there do have tolerance level issues when it comes to products that contain fragrancing. So therefore, Oxygen Biologicals decided to omit that altogether. Also, another thing to mention before I go into the kind of cover of the of the products is that 
all of the products in the oxygen biologicals is also water based there are no oil based products and simply because of the fact that you cannot um, encapsulate or involve a molecule of oxygen and stabilize it into an oil rich product so there will be some balance in things like moisturizers and masks where there is some you know some uh, consistency of oil but there will be always oil in water solutions from a chemical standpoint so we start with eye and face cleanser. Um, this is actually a fantastic cleanser. It's effective enough that it will remove even waterproof makeup. I always in a classroom setting, I always do a little pen mark on my on my hand. You know how hard it is to remove a, a, a ink from a pen, but I am I'm showing always in a class that it's very, very easy to remove it with either one of the cleansers that are here in the line. So obviously when you're thinking about application for your client and your sort of idea will be to have something that is extremely effective, you don't have to worry. These are extremely effective formulas at removing not only the debris and, and kind of the impurities from the surface of the skin, but also any remnants of sunblocks, skincare products, as well as makeup. So eye and face cleanser, this one right here on the top is a very, very mild, non-greasy type of cleanser that can be used actually as a pre-cleansing option for clients that require that type of application. And it is technically utilized here as a makeup remover. So very, very gentle. It does have a gel-like consistency to it. You do not need more than about, I would say, a loogie size amount of it. Massage that small amount into the skin and then, of course, remove it either with wet cotton pads or some other type of removal for your clients. Of course, at home, clients can just simply rinse it off from, uh, from the, the face directly. Now, it is suggested that a client then follows up to a secondary cleanser that is more specific to the skin conditions, or like the suggestion says there, to follow up to a milk cleanser that is specific to their um, maintenance of their skin type. So within this range of product here, um, if you notice, we do have some ingredients that are a little specific just to it. There is, of course, resveratrol, which is a, a type of ingredient obtained from grapeseed extracts. And it is an ingredient that acts as an antioxidant together with vitamin E. It has a little bit more of a protective function. But also we do kind of care, especially for the area around the eyes and obviously the facial contour with omega-3 and 6s. So that always helps with a little bit more of that stabilizing of lipidic barrier. So very, very unique cleanser, very effective, very lightly scented for your client and absolutely water-based. Now, for any client that wishes to have a cleanser that has a little bit more of an exfoliative effect and that is or is very deeply cleansing, we do suggest a deep, deep pore cleanser. This product right here is actually named <laughs> as such because it does have that a, a bit of an extra astringent quality to it, even though it is actually suspended in a in a vehicle of a milk base so it is in a in a kind of a, a milky consistency but once you apply it on the skin and you work it in some of the active ingredients that are in it go to work very very quickly one of them is lactic acid which of course will achieve some mild mild kind of almost like a water binding, but also slightly exfoliating effect. And of course, also we are going to be talking about Meadowsweet. So Spiria ulmaria, which is a, a nice um, ingredient to have for somebody who has a little bit more of an active sebaceous production. Of course, there are also ingredients that can um, calm the skin a little bit and give you that effect. So extract of Alantuan will definitely have that, that unique perspective. So with this milk cleanser, um, we are suggesting to using it only on the face and avoiding the lip and the eye contour. It is because of the con con uh, content of lactic acid. And this is the only cleanser that will be slightly more acidic to that of your natural pH of the skin. So obviously that gives it its exfoliative potential. So with the introduction of these two cleansers, which will probably for anybody who is thinking about professional application will become the main cleansers for you. I will also say that there is a cleanser that is unique 
and it is typically used for a client who is more on the rush, prefers a micellar water type of cleanser, or for your traditionally speaking, a, a unique perspective within a, a treatment application, it will be used for a more time compressed type of a treatment. So when you're thinking about performing a treatment that is maybe a half an hour long, it might be that lunch time uh, treatment as somebody comes in and they literally only have a half an hour. You don't have time to layer things on and <laughs> kind of play around with it. You want one cleanser that does it all aqueous cleanser will be the choice for you now this one has a it's a water-based cleanser has a micellar technology built into it so that means that it actually turns into a water loving and a oil loving particle and because of that it of course attracts like substances so water-based debris and oil-based debris can be uh, cleansed off the surface of the skin very very easily while your skin is also replenished by the content of squalane Okay, so those are also particles that come from olive uh, fruit. So in that idea here, of course, you are going to have to apply it with cotton rounds. So we do suggest using that. And of course, slightly swiping it off the skin and, and of course, removing, uh, you know, your, your debris very actively from there. Now for antibacterial cleanser, this is a very, very interesting technology that is um, relevant to the oxygen makers. They have come up with a formula that can actually be quite sanitizing even to um, other areas than face and body, but even to your implements and anything that needs a little bit more of a very astringent wash without use of alcohol. Okay, so for aestheticians in particular this is very very attractive because we all know when we handle chemicals that are sterile and our hands if unprotected can get a little bit of beating so we actually nowadays suggest the antibacterial cleanser as a also um, a hand cleanser or surface cleanser or implement cleanser before sterilization so it does have a fungicidal and disinfectant germicidal properties and it is because of the reinforcement of oxygen. Oxygen typically will eliminate anaerobic bacteria very, very easily. And this is also why it becomes very effective for use on a skin that is more acne prone. So if you really have that one client that is very oily, has a substantially, you know, grade up acne, um, you will be able to, to offer that to your clients and have that as a solution for them. Okay. So with that, of course, this is a bit of more of a foaming cleanser. It will have that quality of saponification. It will sort of bubble up for you and therefore it has to be removed with plenty of water. So that is a, a unique product, I would say. And a quick overview altogether of our cleansers here that are one of the ones that are more popular in the line. Of course, following anybody's cleansing, um, you would want to implement some type of a toner. The um, company here very uniquely prepared toner uh, line for you that are maybe a little bit of a surprise. When you're purchasing them for use at home, you will notice that we do have them in a kind of a squeezy tube. Very, very easy. But in a, in a canteen packaging, it is actually in a pump bottle. And they also are one liter um, big so there's a lot of toner there for you what I mean by surprise is that when your client actually receives this as a home care product and is not really explained um, as to how to use it and what to expect people sometimes get very surprised because they expect the toner to be watery but lo and behold toners are not water based here although they are but they also in a vehicle of gel so this is a nice idea for clients who are, you know, thinking about having a product that is a leave-on product that does a little bit more hydration. And what's really unique about oxygen products is that you will be, hi Sarah, that you will be definitely using it to put on the skin, work it into the skin and kind of leave it as a bit of a wet background for any of your other products to, to be applied afterwards. So it also kind of creates that type of a, a sponge effect that actually brings in other formulas and other products deeper into the skin. So this is the advantage of using a gel toner. And if you notice, we do have gel toner here available in either the normal to dry skin classification 
or the combination to oily skin types. Okay. So they do have some unique perspective of, um, you know, ingredients. So when it comes to the gel toner for normal to dry skin, these tend to be a little bit more skin protective ingredients like chamomile extract, vitamins, and lavender. Notice that there's also vitamin H and H1. So we do have something from a family of vitamins that really do um, kind of qualify the, the keratin composition within your skin a little bit more. Really, really kind of giving the skin a supple appearance. And of course, in the combination to oily, oily, we do have orchid extract and a shy berry. One thing that's not mentioned here too, it does have a, an element of witch hazel, which also kind of gives it a little bit more of that astringent perspective. But for clients that prefer to have more of a wet preparation, they're, they're not big fans of gel. Maybe they don't want to kind of bother with putting another <laughs> layer on their skin. They just simply want to spray something on the skin and have that ready for them. We do have something called hyaluronic mist, which is, of course, a hyaluronic acid a base product, so sodium hyaluronate in this case. And it is a spray-on product, so you're going to have to gently, just at a bit of an arm length, spray this product. It will land over your your skin of your face, obviously your neck and your decollete. And that way your, your skin is not only toned. So that means that the pH level is, is sort of respected here, but also it maintains the moisture in the skin and it allows for better penetration of products to follow. So three different options here for you. Um, they are actually quite unique from, like I said, from the perspective of what they are. I have to say that the Hyaluronic Mist here at Your Essentials is a very, very popular product. Clients also like to use it for treatment of like microneedling or dermaplaning when there is a little bit of an interference with um, the skin's barrier. And this product can be used very safely within that type of scenario. Okay, so with that, um, we're going to go into a little bit more of a complex scenario. These products right here are only available for professionals, okay? So those are products that are uniquely used either in a, a spray gun, oxygen gun, or any type of pulverizer that you might have. You know, if you want to go super, super old school, of course, the old fashioned Luca Champagne will be just as good as any other super, you know, novel type of vacuum sprays or, or nebulizers of any kind. But if you notice up on top, this is probably one of the probably most visible technologies right now on the bottom here. When you're using a super, super pulverizing um, gun and what you're going to basically achieve with these type of products is you're going to use them as basic carriers for other type of very concentrated products like complexes, like ampules or different types of serums. So essentially what happens here is not only do they have a unique perspective of their own, so they do have some unique um, advantages or benefits, but they also do allow your product to be diluted in a form that you can actually use in a spray gun application. But this is not the only application for them. When you're thinking about the active additives, you're also noticing that they can be used as an additive to a mask, or in some situation as an additive to, I'll mention that later, a, a very specific exfoliant within the line, which is a powder enzyme mask. So that's coming up next. But here, uh, what's really, really interesting is that you do have four formulas that you can choose from. Those are the, the four formulas that, again, I chose. We do have a couple extras but they are seem to be the the most popular to to our clients here at your essentials so mineralized oxygen stabilizing active will definitely be here as one of your anti-aging perspective products not only minerals are used up by your skin as a sort of a, an extra, you know, kind of like nutrient. <laughs> so oligo elements that, that this product brings in are, are very, very amazing. You have your silica, you have gallium, chloride, magnesium, zinc, every little trace mineral that your skin needs for operation every single day. But what really is essential to mention is that it does help in reducing the DNA damage. So if you notice, there's actually some evidence that shows that these minerals can actually prevent the binding of carcinogens 
Okay, so I know it's a medical claim, <laughs> and I take it with a grain of salt, but definitely um, that is something that has been shown. And of course, with that idea also, they can slow down some of the DNA degradation, and of course, as an effect of aging, right? So very, very powerful formula, really popular with our clients. And um, I have to say that I myself use it all the time as well, because it, it is a beautiful product. At the very least, or the very basic scenario, you also have a hydrating stabilizing active. So if you have a younger consumer or consumer whose skin is in a really good quality, you can also just kind of reach out for that. The function here is quite basic. It just reinforces epidermal natural moisturizing factor and, of course, contributes to the dermal moisture layers too, especially when you pulverize it through a, a, a gun, like, you know, like your vacuum spray gun. Um, what ends up happening is, you know, the, the you, you particular, particularize it so small that the skin can absorb it even better, okay? So that is the, the kind of hands down best application for it. But of course, can you apply it in the forms of a compress? Absolutely, you can add it, like I said, to a mask or any type of a carrier for moisture-based product. So enzyme peel stabilizing active will be typically used if you're using any type of um, preparation of acids or preparation of enzymes. Um, you will be able to use this product as a carrier for that. In its own, it does have yeast extracts and mushroom enzymes, which do have keratolytic uh, effect on the skin. So they do kind of aid in a process of exfoliation. So that can be done very, very easily. And then finally, we also kind of to go together with the mineralized um, uh active you can also use vitamin a to z you can see it has a very very full kind of range of vitamins including that vitamin h which i specified before which is biotin and of course this is one of those vitamins that are essential to sort of a, a, a really good quality of of skin protein right so that is also something that aids in sort of the regeneration process and increases the renewal rate and the reparation rate or restoration rate in your skin. So four formulas for you to choose from and literally um, you can use it into so many different scenarios. So let me just recap that for you. Obviously, if you're using it in a nebulizer of your vacuum spray, you will need about 5 ml of it as a carrier or as a spray-on product with no carriers, add, uh, no additives added. That's fine. But also, you can add it into a product, which is powder. So if you have any type of rubberizing masks, um, you can use that in place of water or in addition to some amount of water. Um, you can also use it as a compress on a gauze to put directly onto the skin. And in some cases, it can also be used as a toner. So many, many different ways for this product to be used. It's probably one of the most versatile products that are available in the oxygen skincare. So with that, of course, you're probably wondering, okay, so that's fine. I know I have a little vacuum spray gun here, but what can I actually do if I have a hydro microdermabrasion machine or any form of hydrofacial machines out there? I know that the hydrofacial MD is a machine that uses their own solutions, and I by no means am making statements that you can use these products there safely. I cannot make that guarantee. But of course, for any generic hydro microdermabrasion machines, you can use the solutions that are listed here. So those are our intensive treatments, which are infusions, and they are typically used for dilution with water in the tanks of your hydrodermabrasion machines. So you may have unit that looks more or less like this. These are quite popular today or any other form of um, a unit. So let me introduce some of the, the kind of technology that you can definitely introduce within those tanks. So we have three general solutions that can be used for tank B, and I'll explain that in a moment, and two that can be used for tank A. So hyaluronic acid, I kind of want to review them with you in a, in a kind of less advanced to most advanced, and then I'll kind of 
will link that into which tank of your machine to use them in. So just stay put and I will do that, but let me just get through them first. So hyaluronic acid is a solution that obviously very well known active ingredient here. Hyaluronic acid is probably the number one moisturizing agent that is super acceptable in a skin since it is a bioidentical material. So this formula is also reinforced with extra aloe vera. So those mucopolysaccharides from aloe vera will become very, very handy at kind of capturing moisture within the skin. And of course, we do have chamomile, pantinol, and um, other type of extracts that will have a little bit more of that kind of relaxing effect on the skin. And of course, the anti-inflammatory effect. So super, super cool to kind of deeply restore and balance the NMF. And of course, it is something that will absorb into the skin very, very well. And you're going to have that potential of actually having a, a, almost a plumping and kind of uh, like a super uber moisturizing effect um, for your client. So that is one formula that is sort of generally used by most of our clients. But of course, if you want something with a very specific action, we also do have the generic vitamin C type of uh, product here. This one is used a little bit more in the kind of regulation of pigment distribution, skin brightening, and antioxidative approach to the skin. So if you have a mature client, that might be a best option for them. And again, this is something that is kind of uniquely formulated, not only with L-ascorbic acid, but if you notice, also with some of the ingredients that serve as a brightening and, and kind of a whitening effect. So cranberry fruit extract and bilberry. So then, of course, we also, let me skip over Glamour for a second, and I'll talk about the hyperpigmentation formula. So this one over here helps with the skin's kind of infusion of active ingredients to help to lift the existing um, pigmentation, but also to correct some of the pigmentation that already occurred, and of course, prevent or balance the production and distribution of pigment in the future. So here we actually have a formula that's that's based on a, a quite aggressive approach. You do have your green tea, your lactic acid, so antioxidant and mildly exfoliative. But of course, you also have beer berry extract, azelaic and kojic acids, which also help to regulate some of the pigment and lift off old pigment from the, the superficial kind of epidermal structures. So those three... Um, those three formulas are actually in use in infusion part of your treatment, but let me back up a little bit and talk about, okay, so what can I use in the first part of the treatment where I'm deeply cleansing the skin? So to explain that, we do have two formulas, Glamour which is this formula right here. And this one is kind of inspired by the Glamour Peel um, that was very popular some years ago. Um, it really kind of came into, into kind of the market with a lot of push from celebrities. And it was a, basically a collection of different type of acids. So if you notice lactic, glycolic, hyaluronic, chamomile extracts, pantino, and of course your oxygen biological infusion, which is very, very special here. So this one will be used definitely for the first step in your hydromicrodermabrasion when you're deeply cleansing the skin, when you're lifting off the impurities and when you're sort of, you know, performing that really, really deep, um, kind of deep cleansing option for your clients. So we have that as a generic option for pretty much every client out there. But if you do have client who suffers from some degree of acne, and this is, of course, not for, you know, this this method would not be for acneic skin altogether. But your clients who maybe have a stage one or stage two acne will definitely be comforted by it. And what we actually do have here is the clarify solution with malic, tartaric and lactic acid. So this will help to break down some of the keratin deposits within skin and it will better and further your extraction part of your of your service. So definitely these formulas are, are utilized for more of an exfoliative measure. So to make this a little bit simpler for you, how do you use it? So you can definitely use it within the, the nebulizer. If that's the only machine that you have, you can spray them onto the skin. Not a problem. Typically in this situation, they will be sprayed onto the skin undiluted. 
However, if you're using them in a hydrodermabrasion machine, so in order to feed it through the machine, through the little tanks, and you can see there's tank A, B, and C. So typically those formulas will go into tank A and B. Tank C just basically has either deionized water or some other type of material to cleanse the piping of the machine. But the A and B are active treatment uh, bottles. So let me show you here. Glamour and Clarify, those solutions will be typically used within the tank A of your machine, where you're going to be mixing it with water in a one to 10 ratio. So what that means is you're gonna put one part of the solution to about 10 parts of water, and then that you can safely pass through pretty much any hydrofacial machine out there. If you have questions, you obviously have to check with your manufacturer of the machine. Um, you don't wanna sort of, you know, forfeit your, your warranty on the machine. So always double check. But the machines that we sell here at Euro Essentials will accommodate this type of solutions, no problem. And then same kind of mixing ratio will be for bottle B, which is used for the infusion part of your treatment. So just past the exfoliative measure. So hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and hyperpigmentation will be used for that, okay? So again, the mixing ratio is one part of the solution to 10 parts of water. So what that means to you in a kind of mathematical ratios is 10 ml of the solution typically is mixed with about 100 ml of water. Okay, so that's the way to use it. If you are a lucky owner of one of those machines, that will be very, very interesting to you. Do you have the machine in your essentials? Yes, we do, Sarah. Um, yeah, you can definitely call the office to get a little bit more information or you can reach out to either me or Kate. Um, I'm pretty sure that you do have our email addresses or just sales at euro-essentials.com. That's the easiest, easiest email to get us through. All right, so no problem. So exfoliation. So for exfoliants, if you, for example, are not performing what we just described, so you're not in a situation where you have a machine that can do that for you, you're simply just doing, uh, you know, stages of the of the treatment, but you obviously need support of products. So very simply here for exfoliants, we do have an example or a choice for you. My favorite, actually, is the powder enzyme mask, but we'll get to that in a moment <laughs> because you actually can approach your exfoliation with the oxygen product as a layered on option using literally all three of the exfoliants or using one particular one depending on the skin type or condition of your client. So the exfoliant, so product that is called exfoliant, um, it is your mechanical exfoliant. And many a times people that purchase this product um, kind of get surprised by its power. It is almost like a, out of lack of better comparison, really. It's like an exfoliant that is more like microdermabrasion in a, a jar. So very, very powerful, really kind of scrubbing, really buffing to the skin. It is based on jojoba beads, but you also have a little bit of content of almost like a mineral type of crush that will give you a very fine polishing action. Please do not treat this with, with respect. Do not over exfoliate the, the client's skin because it is so easy to be like, oh my God, this is so awesome. It's so rough. So I'm just going to scrub and rub. Don't. You apply this product with almost no pressure with your fingers, okay? If, however, you have a client who has a very, very sensitive skin, this is not going to be an exfoliation option for that, for that specific client. We do have other options for those, but this will not be it. So you technically are using this exfoliation typically for skins that are more on the normal to maybe more textured or oily skins. Okay, and in that situation also, if your client, for example, you still kind of find that maybe they have slightly sensitized skin or they have a situation where you think, okay, maybe they're more touch sensitive, you can definitely use this product like you can see here under directions for sensitive skin. You can mix the amount of the gel toner with it to give it a little bit more softness. Okay, you can cut down the power of the of the product by a, a lot. So I would say mix probably equal ratios of the product with the, the gel toner and then apply this to the skin. So obviously this will also require amount of rinsing from the skin, be very, very delicate. 
with this rinse, rinsing option. And um, I have to say that the best rinsing is probably done with with um, towels. But of course, you can also achieve that with gauzes and you can also use uh, sponges. So whatever you prefer will be a best method for you. If you find that after the, the removal, you still have a few of the of the kind of, you know, particles still kind of hanging around a little bit, you will notice that at that point, you might want to take a couple of just dry gauzes and you can also sort of fan off the particles from the surface of the skin that will aid with the complete removal of the product, okay? So that is pretty much a product that we typically use as a standalone product. Um, sometimes for the most of your thickest, more resilient skin, you can then proceed to one of the other two options. But typically this will be used on its own. Oh, I forgot to also mention that this product can be used for the body. So if you, for example, have a client who wants like a really good body exfoliant, they have some hyperkeratosis or some other type of issues with their skin, they can definitely use that for that specific reason. So our number one selling product, I have to say, in the oxygen range is the enzyme gomash peeling. This is a unique product. Um, it kind of goes with the idea of French you know, kind of approach to exfoliation where you're using a product that can be frictioned of the skin. So this specific product can be applied onto the skin, left, and, and the application has to be very, very thin. So take, take a note of that. Left on the skin for about two to five minutes and then friction in circular movements, okay? So the idea is that once the product kind of comes up, then very gently, but by physical, more of a physical measure, it will be able to remove or reduce some of the, the superficial kind of keratin from the surface of the skin. So this makes it an ideal exfoliation for your more sensitive clients, okay? Normal to sensitive skin types will probably um, be best addressed by this type of exfoliation. All right. So then, of course, we also do have another product which is quite more efficacious or powerful. It is from a standpoint of a chemical exfoliant, and it is actually based on extracts of, of enzymes. So there is a powder formula. So you will find this product simply in a powder format, and um, you will have to dilute it with enough water to make it into a yogurt resembling paste. So think of yogurt like a Greek yogurt. That's the type of consistency that you want to get from the product. Um, I don't typically give out the, the measuring option here because it's very easy to do that. But if you want to know, it kind of gives you an idea there. So it's about five grams of the powder mask with about five ml of either water or activator. Or even you can add five drops of something called enzyme peel complex, which is a complex that can you know further the enzymatic action of the peel. And I have to say that it is probably one of the best options if you're looking to prepare the skin for extractions, okay? This product can also be left under a steam, which then will further the, the preparation for extractions. And notice also that because it is such a popular product, it is actually made into two formulas. So powder enzyme mask for dry skin and powder enzyme mask for oily skin. So choose the one respective of your client's needs. And one more thing to mention about this product also is that the uh, leave-on application in terms of timing can be manipulated by you. And again, it can be sort of catered or customized to application on the client's skin. So if you, for example, have more of a sensitive skin clients or clients with barrier dysfunctions in the skin, you leave this mask on for about a minute to two minutes only. And you remove it right away with plenty, plenty of water to kind of, you know, take away from the enzymatic agent. So really, really rinsing is important. And then toning after application of the product is equally as important. But if you have a client with a normal to maybe combination complexion, this product can be left on for about five to seven minutes. And then for those clients who have more of, like we described before, a thicker complexion, more coarse complexion, maybe perhaps with acne, and here we can include the acne that is more pustules or papule rich, um, you can leave this for up to 10 minutes on the client's skin. You will notice that once you take this product off, the skin that's revealed is it's evidently exfoliated. You can see that it has that kind of glass-like texture to it. 
because um, the enzymes that are included here in the mask uh, are quite effective. So lactobacillus ferments and such, very, very effective at reducing the keratin layers. So hopefully that, that was a good review of the exfoliants for you. And then, of course, typically after exfoliation, after extractions, what would you do? Well, you probably would want to continue to some type of massage option. You have two different options with um, the oxygen biological uh, product for that. There is the sort of commonly used massage gel. And this gel over here is unique um, simply because of the fact that it is a water-based product. So remember what I said at the very beginning, all of oxygen biological products are water or oil in water solutions. So it's a water-based product predominantly. But what is so cool about this specific formula is that when you have a client who is perhaps, you know, more of an oil phobic, <laughs> they don't like to have oil on their skin. There's, there's still those clients still exist out there. They can rest assured that, yes, we're using something that almost behaves like an oil, but can be completely removed from the skin with just water. So that is one of those kind of promises that we make. And of course, for the aesthetic kind of experience of your client, the pleasantness of this experience is when you sometimes go for a facial and you get massaged, a lot of the times you're kind of left with very soggy kind of oily hair uh, or hairline. And that is not very pleasing. So that means that the next day you have to wash your hair and, and all that. So a lot of clients don't, don't like that aspect. Here, again, being a water-based product, it gives you enough slip. It is such a unique formula. It can literally, it slips for 20 minutes without a problem, but then you can remove it completely from the skin. And it is extremely, extremely um, well-selling item for us. You can imagine because of that, that specific situation. So the hydroethyl cellulose is the actual base of the product, whereas we do have some additional ingredients like sodium hyaluronate, for example, here that can further the, the quality of the skin. Okay, so that is pretty much something that we're using simply for massage options only. But if you have a unique client with unique needs, or if you want to apply a product that is more like a mask, but it's also a product that can be used for an immediate modality manipulation, let's say you, you want to do this, you know, you do a little bit of a, a service with massage, but then immediately you want to go into, let's say, application of radio frequency or ultrasound. Or like you see over here, this product can also be used in place of ultrasound gel or underneath an LED mask because it's not an opaque product. You can definitely use something like this. And that is hyaluronic gel. So not only does it balance the pH of the skin, which a lot of our clients actually purchase this product to use immediately after chemical peeling. So they may have some type of other, you know, chemical peel out there, or maybe they use the enzymatic peel here and they want to sort of have that super recovery component to their treatment. So see how kind of you can get very, very um, creative with this treatment, right? Um, or with this product. So you can definitely utilize this as a mask to follow up to the modality right after without having changing a, a product. You don't have to do that. You do it all with one product only, or you can simply use this as a massage uh, option, but obviously an option that gives you a little bit more than just, uh, you know, the, the basic functions of massage cream. So here we also do have sodium hyaluronate and there's a, a, a much more of the concentration of hyaluronic acid in this product. And of course, you also do have additional ingredients like sodium PCA, which is a derivative of salts, and that is more highly, deeply kind of restorative in terms of moisture. You do have niacinamides that act as anti-inflammatories, and you also have a very unique ingredient, which is ceramide 3, which is used for recovery of skin's barrier, making it ideal to use after services like dermaplaning or skin resurfacing with acids. So very, very different. Um, we use it even after microneedling. It is a safe enough product that you can do that. It has no additives, no colorants, no perfumes, nothing that can irritate the skin or penetrate the skin and, and give some type of uh, an unwanted effect. So very, very different, unique perspective of products here. 
So typically after massage, once the stimulation in the skin happens and massage is unique to the oxygen skincare line as well, because if you think about it, if you're infusing skin with oxygen, how are you going to ensure that the skin is utilizing this oxygen in its fullest and is actually putting it to work? It is by manipulation or stimulating with massage. I actually, a long time ago when I used to work with, with oxygen a little bit more actively, I would actually start the treatment right after cleansing with a short massage just to uniquely stimulate the client's skin and then get more out of the products that I'm going to continue to afterwards. Remember, every single product adds layer of oxygenation, right? So that is also kind of my tip. <laughs> I developed it myself and I found that people were getting more out of the applications of products if I did that. So you can follow suit or, or you can kind of, you know, utilize your, your uh, massage in the, in the sort of chronological approach to, to the service. But when the skin is nicely stimulated, when there is that richness of oxygenation within the tissue and the tissue is actually now respectively prepared for regeneration, for repair, that's when we add the big guns. So here we bring on our more concentrated formulas for specific unique needs of the skin, and those are complexes. So think of complexes as your serums, as your ampules, super, super concentrated, pro-only product again here. Um, and they are super effective even with the smallest quantity of product added. So the first one that I'm going to introduce to you is probably for the more, I guess, kind of nuanced situations with the skin, which is hyperpigmentation. This can combat hyperpigmentation very, very effectively. It consists of ubiquinone and other type of um, naturally extracted substances from bilberry, mulberry, and so forth that can further the brightening effect. But that is the ingredient that will balance pigmentation. Okay, so very, very unique with that and liposome complexes to allow you to actually deliver the ingredients deeper into the skin. So just to kind of reverse here in terms of using it, you can apply it to the areas of the skin directly. Absolutely, you can do that without a problem. Or like I said before, if you're using one of the active additives that I kind of, you know, before introduced at the very kind of beginning, you can add those into the nebulizer of your oxygen pen and then add about, I would say, five to six drops of each one of the complexes or up to as many complexes as you want um, in order to actually have, you know, a better kind of effect from the products that you're using. So we do have the oxygen hyperpigmentation complex. I actually very recently used it with a micro roller on my skin. I had a few scars from uh, burns uh, on my forearms. Um, usually this happens when I take things in and out of the oven. But I noticed that I needed to have um, something here that, you know, lightens the skin and kind of helps me with recovery from my scars. And I cannot tell you what a turnaround it was when I actually applied this hyperpigmentation complex. I actually infused it into the hydrating uh, additive the active additive and I kind of roll that onto the skin about once or twice a week for probably about four, four or five weeks. I think I used it and my scars are reduced. My pigmentation around the scars is disappeared. It's fantastic. Like I cannot tell you how great these products are. So that would be one of them. Now, oxygen sensitive complex is used typically for a client, obviously with problems with sensitivity, so flashing and blushing, either due to cuperose or rosacea or other type of skin, either diseases or dysfunctions. And this one is equipped, so two that you recognize, chamomile, lavender, obviously calming, soothing compounds, but it's also um, has an addition of acetohexapeptide, which is a neuropeptide. And it, it kind of causes that um, very fast action of, of redness reduction, okay? So really, really effective complex for that. We also do have one that is more exfoliative. So typically this is not sprayed onto the skin as much as it is added into the powder enzyme mask. So the oxygen enzyme peel 30 um, complex, we also had it in a 60%, but I'm not sure if this is actually being able to be produced at the moment. 
I think because of COVID, there are some issues with the production of the higher grade one. But the 30% complex we still have, we, we continuously um, sell it. So this one obviously is used more for the exfoliative uh, potential. So definitely kind of to up your game with your powder enzyme mask or even in could be mixed into the exfoliant itself. Um, it's up to you. Then of course we have one for acne. So this one is again combating acne more from that um, keratolytic aspect. So the, the yeast walls and the keratolytic agents that are added to it will help to butter the hyperkeratosis that leads to acne. And then there are some calming and soothing effect as well. And remember, because a lot of the times I'm, I'm being asked here, so are there any type of like um, antibacterial compounds? Like what's going on here? the oxygen molecule acts as an antibacterial agent. So we cannot underestimate that. P. acne bacteria or bacterium cutis as it has been renamed lately. It is a bacteria that is more anaerobic. It does not in like environment that is oxygen rich. So the moment you introduce oxygen to the skin, whoo, all of a sudden you have a situation where the bacteria is not so happy and dies off quickly. <laughs> So we also do have some uh, formulas that are a little bit more for those aging clients. So specifically for lifting, for kind of having an antioxidative action. So stem cell complex and face lifting complex will be definitely it. That stem cell complex tends to be more uh, antioxidant rich. And that actually comes from the rhododendron ferruginium extract. It's a specific extract of a rose bush that has a, a complex of antioxidants, so more protective to the skin and really well suited for either your younger consumers or in addition to the facelift complex for clients who are more mature. The oxygen facelift complex is based on a powerful combination of not only uh, peptides that are more from a calming, soothing perspective, but also cell signaling and also reinforcement to your barrier with vegetal collagen as a hydrator. And then of course, ceramides as a kind of reinforcing agent. So really, really cool um, product here. It also contains silicon, which kind of gives the, 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 uh, skin more of a supple quality and almost has like a wrinkle relaxing effect immediately after application. So very, very fantastic, fantastic uh, option here. Of course, for those of you who are hydration lovers, you will then use your oxygen hydrating complex that I pretty much include into every one of my, my um, treatments, kind of is the basis of everything that I do. So you might kind of follow up here in suit as well. But notice that in addition to sodium hyaluronate, this also uh, contains hydrolyzed glycosaminoglycans, which are the natural kind of liquid components of the dermis. So are more of a uh, collagen cushioning and collagen protective type of ingredients. And then finally, we also have oxygen vitamin K complex. This one's a little bit more unique and it is proposed for clients specifically who have issues with the appearance of veins. Okay, so veins, microcirculation. Um, so anybody that has dilated capillaries or this is either an effect of the sensitivity in the skin or maybe because of some type of skin diseases like rosacea, this probably will be a very, very effective product for them. It does uh, contain vitamin K, which is kind of, and catechins actually, which are both complexes that kind of have that potent antioxidative potential for the skin, antibacterial protection for the skin, but vitamin K in particular also elasticizes the capillary networks. So it really looks after the health of the, of the capillary. So very, very protective to the skin and then phospholipidic complex as well to protect the skin from the surface, which a lot of the times, especially in cases of rosacea, the barrier of the skin can become very impaired. Okay, so transitioning to the next sector of our products here, we do have also a selection of masks for you. And I will bring them all here at once for you, but 
I didn't list every single mask we have because like I said before, we do have a lot. I just want to kind of focus on the ones that are really, really effectively popular and used very broadly. So they do have a broad application. The Algae Green Anti-Stress Mask is probably our number one selling mask because it can be applied in so many different areas. It is literally for every client out there. Whether you have oily complexion, sensitive complexion, even normal complexion, it will bring something for you. The active ingredients here are basically an extract of a resin, um, which is coming from mukul. It's a type of ingredient that has soothing and anti erythemic effect on the skin. And then we have a, a very specific extract of like a mushroomy kind of uh, collection. And that is also something that gives you sort of like this relaxing effect in the skin. So it does have a kind of softening, moisturizing effect, invigorating, and also replenishing effect to the skin. So if you notice having a broad kind of effect on different areas of, of your application. So really, really phenomenal mask. Um, you know, for like, even if you have the most sensitive clients, they tolerate it very, very well. But of course, everybody wants to also know, okay, so what do we have um, that is a little bit more anti-aging? So here we have a stem cell mask. So based on the same extract of rhododendron, um, the, the rosebush, which is more that antioxidative, but also we do have liposome centella, which is a restorative repairing ingredient and introduction of your anti-aging um, peptides. So very, very powerful uh, mask. Both of these masks that I mentioned right now are in a clay environment, but of course the, the addition of clay doesn't mean that it is an oil absorbing clay. It does not actually have this effect on the skin. It's more just a carrier for the active ingredients. But then we also have a very unique mask. We are actually out of um, stock at the moment on it, but we're expecting it anytime soon. There was a packaging issue with the mask. Obviously, um, the company wasn't able to get the packaging for a while. Again, COVID issues. Um, but we, we should be receiving it pretty, pretty quickly. So here we do have a very unique mask. It is uh, like you see on the left hand side here on the beautiful face. Um, it is a bubbling mask. So you're applying it on and you kind of wait for the effervescent effect within the mask. And basically what this situation means to you or your client is that you're getting a little bit of extra oxygenation. As the bubbles kind of burst, they actually deliver extra atmospheric oxygen into the skin as well. So you kind of double up on the action. So this is a mask that it's really liberally used for every client out there. You can incorporate it into any service. Um, it is really safe to use even for resurfacing type of treatment. And what's really nice with it is also it includes Siberian ginseng for that kind of extra revitalization. So clients actually observe their skin to become a little bit brighter, a little bit more uniform after application of this mask. So really, really satisfying effect. So those are the three that I would kind of suggest for you to sort of open your eyes to and really kind of look at in, in the nearest future. Of course, once you are done with the steps of your service and you're kind of ready for the applications of products then to follow, the moisturizing range is quite wide in, in the uh, oxygen biologicals. But here, two sort of spectacular creams that we, we sell a lot for professional application are medium weight based um, antioxidant cream and a heavier weight based super hydrating cream. Those seem to be the favorites of the professionals out there. And um, I have to say that, you know, each one of them does have its unique kind of perspective. But it, if you have more of the clients that need a lighter moisturization, you probably will go with the antioxidant cream where the super hydrating cream is more for application for clients with drier or more impaired skins. So that's kind of like the two that I would suggest. Of course, for retail, we do have those available as well. There are some very specific specialty formulas that you can choose from. There is a specialty cream S for sensitive skin. There is the hyaluronic range for dehydrated skins, stem cell collection for the, the more mature um, kind of, of your skin. So there, there is really everything for everybody. 
but I, I just figure I'm going to introduce just these two to you today and kind of leave it at that. And of course, with that comes an idea. Okay, so everybody will need some type of solar protection. So the company here actually produces an SPF 30, which is called Protection Cream. And this one can be used um, in two different uh, formulas. So one that is, if you notice on the on the right hand side, I kind of included a little side note. So included in a regular weight, so more like a vehicle of moisturizer with an SPF. And also, of course, also available in a lightweight formula, which can be incorporated into a use of another moisturizer. So this is kind of typically up to you and your clients how you want to approach this. But that is the idea here. This is, of course, chemically based um, type of uh, approach. So you have your octinoxate and octisalate as your active ingredients here for the sun protection. And... Um, of course, there is no mineral content in here. And I know that kind of mineral blocks are, you know, kind of coming up and fading, coming up and fading. Of course, you cannot promise your client that protection. But if your client has no problem um, tolerating chemical sun blocks on their skin, they will be completely fine with using this product without an issue. So Nadia is asking, why does the packaging not state SPF 30? Uh, we cannot make those claims because these products are not registered as a drug. Right. So right now in North America, any type of sunblock that is um, that, that wants to make the claim of an SPF has to be actually registered as a medical product. And, you know, for skincare companies to go through trouble of doing that is very, very expensive. And it's also very lengthy process. So they basically for marketing purposes tend to remove the SPF claim. But obviously it is it is insinuated. So it is in there. Um, it's unfortunate that that has to happen, but that is the way that a lot of skincare companies out there deal with that today. The only ones that are registered, um, specifically from the companies that are more in the professional world, is if you haven't, <laughs> believe it or not, that probably gave rise to the to the popularity of mineral blocks, is um, companies that actually register their products under natural um naturopathic number, so NPN, um, they do that um, from time to time and that, that way they can make the claim on their product. But this is not a, a minerally based product, therefore we have to kind of get around it this way, okay? So very transparent, I'm not hiding anything from you. That is simply what, what it is, okay? All right, no problem. And then, of course, for your eye treatment, um, you know, when you're thinking about eye treatments. Oh, you know what, Nadia? Actually, let me mention one more thing because I, I had a good point there, too. You know, when you're thinking about um, dealing with cosmetic companies that come from Europe, very often are the kind of surprise is, oh, my God, like, you know, in Europe, a, a sunblock is actually a cosmetic and in North America, it's a drug. So. You know, there's there's a lot of this hoopla's happening because of different markets and different manufacturers around the world as well. So it is a complicated matter, but a, a good question. So for eye treatments, just to kind of finish things off here, um, for eye treatments, we do have three products which are typically used for professional application. Of course, we do have a variety of other products as well, especially in the hyaluronic and the stem cell range. There will be some things you can sell to your clients for that. But here we do have one specific eye serum, which is kind of hydrating serum for fine lines um, and also for kind of like the, the contour of the eye, sometimes helping even with... Um, um, a little bit of swelling around the eyes and then an eye cream to go with it. So those two can be used kind of independently or together. But then we, of course, also have one formula that's a little bit more advanced and that is the eye lifting cream. And that seems to be the favorite of, of professionals out there. So they, they pretty much carry that for, for every basic client or more advanced client out there. Okay. So that is pretty much it for me. I'm not sure if you, uh, guys have any other additional questions over here um, I, I can definitely answer them now if not if there is no questions um, I'll let you go and hopefully you enjoy this okay Nadia has a question did you want to ask me outside of the the forum here or did you want to ask right now I'll wait for her it's up to me. Yeah, go ahead. Ask your question. 
So I'll just wait for Nadia to pose a question here. But in the meantime, while she is typing, I also want to remind you guys that um, uh, you know we do offer always after every webinar. If you're interested in any of the products, do ask us about 15% off. Say that you have been part of the webinar, hit watch the webinar on YouTube, and we will offer that as well. So enzyme peel 60 is that the one out of stock? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And can I use this product after derma planning? The enzyme peel 60, Nadia, I would not suggest. It is a little bit aggressive, but the 30 um, enzymatic agent possibly could be used after, after that, but it always has to be diluted. So either in a vehicle of a mask or it has to be diluted, like if you want to spray it on, for example, into the skin, you have that option. You could do that, but you will have to use it with one of the active additives. So hopefully that answers your question. And um, okay, perfect. Thank you. So if there is no other questions, guys, I'll let you go. Thank you very much for spending this time with me. Have a lovely afternoon and I'll see you in the...